more than sports, more than politics. In Chicago, nothing will have you pick sides more than the infamous deep dish pizza debate. You ask ChatGPT, what is the best deep dish in Chicago? And even it is too afraid to give you a straight answer. Instead, backing up its top six picks with opening and closing paragraphs, stressing that this topic is highly subjective and varies based on personal taste, just so you don't get mad at it. In other words, you have to decide for yourself. So today, I'm taking you to my personal favorite spot in the city. That's a cheese bowl. Where I'm meeting up with one of my best friends for lunch. There she is, mama's home. One of the biggest arguments you're gonna have with people in Chicago is what place has the best deep dish? Giordano's, Luminati's, Pequod's, Gino's. There's a bunch, but my personal favorite is Giordano, so y'all can fight me on that one. Okay, Jess only has an hour for lunch and she's almost here, so I have to put in the order. We don't need to view a menu because I already know what we're gonna order. I always get the Chicago classic deep dish when I'm here. Don't even need to look at the menu. So the pizzas here take about 40 to 45 minutes to cook. Jess has lunch at noon in like 15 minutes, so I was trying to get here 45 minutes before that, but in true Mish fashion, I was running late. Had a little editing session with Mateo this morning on FaceTime. So I was a little delayed, but she'll be here in 15 minutes. So we are gonna have to wait a bit. <laughs> Actually, it's so hot right now. I'm like sweating from how fast I ran. <sighs> that is good. So you see Goose Island, that's the Chicago beer that's made here. So if you're ever in Chicago, might as well give it a try. It's really good. My lunch date is good. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah. It's still not ready, even though it's been 30 minutes. Yeah. We only got 10 more minutes to go. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> um, Thank you. you. Thank you. Oh, right on time. <laughs> <laughs> Two minutes later. Oh my goodness. There we go. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I decided to have myself a day today. Oh, so this is doing? this is my film crew right now. Oh. <laughs> She's a little different than Mateo, I know. It's okay. But this has to be fast because like we need to eat this thing. And then Absolutely. Like when they talk about the Chicago deep dish cheese pull, I just want to show you what that looks like. Can we see? Do we have a good angle camera woman? Oh yeah. Do we see that? Do we see that? <laughs> That's what we're talking about. That's a cheese pull. Yes, ma'am. I think people in Italy would find this offensive. <laughs> uh, lots of people say it's like just eating a stuffed lasagna, but it's one of the many delights of coming to this city. Fight me. I think Giordano's is the best. You can fight me on this in the comments. I don't know if I'm wrong, but I think I'm right. So let's dig in. <laughs> I just washed my hands. <laughs> there we go. She's I going for it. it. <laughs> <laughs> it I went so high. much height as you. I went so high I was like scanning up. And there we go. Leave it. no cheese left behind. <laughs> bon appetit. Thoughts? Heaven. Do you think Giordano's is the best deep dish in the city or do you have another favorite? I have another favorite. Okay, tell me what it is. We've been friends for 10 years and I've never known this about you. Umulnati's. And now I feel like I don't even know you at all. <laughs> so, wow. Okay, like you look like Jessica. You sound like yeah. Jessica. I don't Not know if Jessica it's you. We just hit our 10 year friendship anniversary and I feel like I don't even know who you are right now. So. I don't hate Giordano's. <gasps> I'm just more of a loose girl. Okay. Maybe in the next one. <laughs> I want you to try and convince me. Oh, I can do that. <laughs> this is the Chicago classic. It's got um, mushrooms, bell peppers, something else. Sausage. I'll put it up on the, put it up now. <laughs> I have no idea what's in it, it's so good. 
it's my go-to. While there are a few different options to choose from, I always get the Chicago Classic Deep Dish that is stuffed with pepperoni, mushroom, green peppers, onions, and approximately 10 pounds of mozzarella cheese. Just kidding. Well, not really. Wearing a white sweater to this affair wasn't a good idea. I'm gonna <laughs> spill, so we're doing, a, we're doing a little bib situation here. So whatever. Yeah, I know. Welcome. <laughs> Scooping another one. That's kind of small. I feel like I could still do a relatively big one here. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> if this tips, I'm going to be very sad. There we go. Come to mama. That one was anticlimactic. Oh no! Whatever, it'll still taste good. <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> and then there were two. Okay, winding down here. Bibs <clears throat> coming off. Managed not to spill. But there's still two slices left. Do you like the marwada? Oh yes, please. Thank you so much. We're gonna have to box these little guys up. This is the name of the game. We were only able to put down two each. I couldn't even finish my crust because I'm so full. It's a good thing I wore my stretchy pants, as always, in these situations. <laughs> okay, time to go. Bye. She's a working gal. Thanks for you. Lunch. Have a good rest of your day. Look at your little takeaways. Enjoy. We'll, to go. we'll have that for breakfast tomorrow. Oh, oh yeah, we are. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Okay, so the small deep dish pizza that came with six slices is $26.45 plus taxes and stuff. It came out to $30.44. And then I'm just going to add the tip. So it's actually not bad. It's a ton of food for only $30. Bucks. A big thing that freaks Mateo out in America is the fact that you give them your card and they ring it up in the back and they bring you the receipts for you to write the tip and you sign and leave. And it, it freaks them out a lot because obviously in South Africa you don't do that like at all. And also how do you trust that they're going to charge what you've written down as the tip. So yeah, I guess that's a very American thing. Um, and I told it, it actually shocked me now when I got back. I was like, oh, I forgot we do this. And you just gotta trust that they charge you the right amount and they always do. So it's, it's all good, I promise, for anybody surprised by that. It's just very American, I guess. Well, that was delicious, and I am uncomfortably full, per usual, but that's how you know you did it right. Only two slices of deep dish is enough to send me over the edge. In my next video, I make my way to the largest Starbucks in the world and try the potent espresso martini flight. This one has a kick to it. Subscribe to follow the adventure.